Hi everyone, hope you keep well, keeping safe. Big thank you to Dimitri for joining us and talking movies last week. It was a great discussion about 1990s. This week we are going to be joined by Graham from Man V Film. So please join us for talking movies, 8pm GMT this very Friday. All the information is below. Now let's get to the review. That the movie guy. Okay. Let's set the scene. 2018, I was at the London Film Festival and I had a ticket for my last film and that was just Fiend Decker's Madeline's Madeline. I left that film in utter awe of this beautiful piece of performance art and just the way that Decker really brings performance art into cinema. From this, I found out that she was making a biopic about Shirley Jackson and we are here to talk about Shirley. This film has done the runs at Sundance and Berlin, had very positive reviews but also very mixed ones just as Decker's previous film. But for me, I really do think that this is the step up that Decker deserves and I hope that this opens up a wider audience. So let's talk about it. Decker's story follows renowned horror writer Shirley Jackson who is on the verge of writing her masterpiece when the arrival of newlyweds upon her scrupulous routine and heightened tensions in her already turbulent relationship with her philandering husband. The middle-aged couple, prone to ruthless barbs and copious afternoon cocktails, begin to toy mercilessly with naive young couple at their door. Josephine Decker Shirley is a biopic like no other. She continues to use her blend of performance art along with a stricted script from Sarah Gubbins. Decker doesn't usually use other people's scripts but it feels like a good mesh of ideas and ideologies where I think that Decker can thrive within her own artistry but at the same time give a story that she really admires and wants to show to the world. Along with this she continues to use her vivacious kind of handheld camera style within Madeline's Madeline she uses it in more of a ferocious way but here it's a bit more sinister it is a bit more of a ambience that fits to Shirley Jackson's style of writing where we we just see these glances a stare it's always close to the face always you know absorbing what is going on within the frame and throughout this whole film you get these these very interesting stills where you don't necessarily know what people are thinking but also what blends so well between the script and the actual execution of the film is that we open this film through the eyes of Odessa Jones and Odessa Jones really is our key inside to the door of the mind of Shirley Jackson but as the film goes on we actually go inside what Shirley Jackson's thinking, what her intentions are and this is not exactly a biopic that is straightforward, it's not actually accurate, it's just an imagination or like a reimagining of Shirley Jackson's life. It's not true, to some extent I guess. I don't really know that much. But this is why I see it to be a very interesting fever dream. It's It continues to parallel, I think also it's a reflection upon how couples look at themselves in a previous life and how we have changed. We look at how Odessa Jones and Logan Lerman live and then we see how Shirley Jackson and Michael Stuhlbarg live. It's, it's, it's this parallel and throughout this parallel you're always thinking, mm, well what is the full intention? And what you get is something that's really delicious and I utterly, it is one of the best films of 2020, no shadow of a doubt. What also fits into the ambience of Shirley Jackson's world, and I think of Decker's imagination of what is going on, is Strillerbrand Groberland's cinematography. It feels actually a lot more like celluloid, but it's actually shot digitally. But this reflects upon how he utilizes light. There's a lot of windows, there's a lot of colorization throughout these windows, and it kind of sets this tone, sets this mood that we should be technically feeling throughout Shirley. And he utilizes the light so well in so many compositions. You, That tone is set because of this. And I really dug the style. I'm not actually sure if I've seen any of his other previous works, but I definitely want to seek more of his cinematography style. It's, it's really interesting. And again, it's a great collaboration between himself and Josephine Decker. It, I really, I, I was very, very impressed. But obviously, this is a quartet of performances that really bring Shirley to life. Elizabeth Olsen is is phenomenal. She, her performances as of late have been nothing but great. And I feel like this is a, a performance that she gives to Alex Ross Perry quite frequently. And we see it again with Decker. I, 
Olsen loves indie cinema and the way that she goes into the mind of Shirley Jackson and trying to understand or coping to understand her process and her mind is utterly enthralling and you could easily watch like three hours of her just reading dialogue from this film. It really works so well. But what parallels her so well is Michael Stuhlbach. Michael Stuhlbach is one of the best underappreciated actors in cinema. And he features in A Serious Man, which is my favorite Coen Brothers film. But this is, <laughs> this is the, he's kind of like the engine that tries to keep Shirley going, <laughs> that keeps the intoxication. But also he feels like the toxic element of their relationship because he kind of is, you know, the poison in the year at times. And throughout the whole process of Shirley, while I do find that romantic love connection is still there, it's still dwindled and things have changed. It's just a routine for them. But then we have Odessa Jones, who I think is an utter star in this film. And many people have said the same. I'm not going to say much about her performance, but I truly am in awe. Her combination with Olsen is brilliant. It works well. It's fantastic casting. You need to see this film to understand it. Really, it's one of those films that I'm not sure everybody's going to get or actually love, but I would implore anybody to give it a go and also seek the rest of Josephine Decker's filmography. Madeline's Madeline is absolutely powerful, and I love that film to death. My review will be in the comment section if you want to check it out. It is available in Movie Library right now, so go over there to check it out. Have you guys seen Shirley yet? Are you excited to see Shirley? Please let me know what you think. I'm always intrigued to know what any of the viewers on this channel do. Hello new subscribers, hello old subscribers, welcome, bienvenue. Thank you for your continued support. Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you please. Comment below, let me know what you've been watching, what you're intrigued, what you've been buying, what have you been doing. Share the love. Love is a powerful thing right now and <laughs> let's continue that. So I will see you guys on Friday for our talking movies. It's gonna be great, 2000s. Grey Mommy film is joining us, me and Huss are so excited. Got a few reviews on the way. Um, I'm not really sure what order they're gonna be in yet, but. I'll let you know as time goes by. So, as we normally say on this channel, Dear Danke, Obrigado, Merci beaucoup, Arigato, Dankeschön, Bitteschön, all the shins, and obviously, never change.